Zabbix server, port forwarding rule, Zabbix agent on a Mac. Let's just uh, make the diagram a bit bigger for you. Adjust that and we'll draw a Mac. Let's add a map element, move it down. It's a workstation. 96 Mac OS X. And Zappix Agent. Apply, there we go. Let's draw a line between the two. We'll link them. Close. That's the configuration that we're going to have. Zabbix Agent on a Mac OS behind a firewall. Let's go and install Zabbix Agent. Scroll down, and the second one here, oh, I'm going to choose with OpenSSL. Download that. And double click it. Radio. The wizard, continue. Continue. Agree. We're going to install it here to the hard drive. Install. Put in my password. Very good. Successful. Close. We don't need the installer anymore. Move it to trash. We don't need the download either. Okay, so open up a terminal and we need to configure the agent configuration file and it's here. User local etc zabbix zabbix agent d dot conf. Enter. Enter the password. Okay, let's just make that a little bigger. Scroll down till we find server. This is our Zabbix server. Okay, here it is. The Zabbix server is Zabbix dot sean was here dot com okay, let's scroll down and find server active as well there it is same address zabbix dot sean was here dot com we'll have active and passive checks now host name. If you don't know what your host name is, open up a new terminal and type in host name. My host name is Sean's iMac dot home. And put that here. And actually, we don't need the dot .home bit. We don't need the bit in front either. The host name is Sean's iMac. Okay, control X to save. Yes, and enter to save. Very good. Now let's go and create a host in Zabbix for Sean's iMac. the group. There are no Mac groups there, so I'm just going to create one. And new. Now, because we're behind a firewall, I need to 
Zabbix is going to have to poll via our external IP. So I'm going to get my external IP again, like I did in previous tutorials. There it is. And put that there. And this new port forwarding rule will be 10053, and that will point to the Mac. Okay, to create a time to create a template. And the template will be at the bottom. It's called template OS Mac OS X. Okay, add that now. Let's, let's review that. It all looks pretty good. Let's add that. Excellent. It's now time to configure. Well, we can see that Zabbix hasn't found the agent yet. So let's go and configure the firewall. I have to create a user defined rule here. So Zabbix 10053. So ports 10053 will point to the internal 10050. Now let's assign that rule. Let's assign that rule to a specific computer or network device, and that would be rules at the bottom there, 10053, and that's going to point to Sean's iMac. Now, how you create firewall rules will be very dependent on whatever system, whatever router you have, 10053. I think the, the concepts are the same but the the user interfaces are always different anyway back on the mac we have to we have to restart the zabbix agent now that is sudo launch ctl load slash library slash launch demons slash com dot zabbix enter now put in a password service already loaded that's okay let's unload it now reload it load okay so zabbix agent has now restarted on the mac and if we go back there we go zabbix has found it zabbix has found the agent let's have a look at the latest starter we need to select the Mac from our Mac OS X. Sean's iMac, apply, and we have some data coming through now. We can look at the available memory for the last five minutes. And uh, what else is there? Not a lot yet. It, it will, there will be more as it runs longer. Very good. That was a Mac, a Zabbix agent on a Mac behind a firewall with a port forwarding rule.